this video's goal is to give you an overview of the features and workflows available through the portal. What the case portal is here to do is to help bring the expertise of the beam readers, oral and maxillofacial radiologists to your chair side. When you come into the case portal, you'll land at the dashboard that we see here in front of us. So in the dashboard, we have information on cases in various statuses, and it gives you a quick summary of your recent activity. Drafts, these are cases that might need a little bit of extra time to prep from your side before submitting. Submitted, these are cases that are in process by the Beam Readers team. When we see completed cases, these have recently been finished by Beam Readers for the various services requested on them. Cases shared with you, this utilizes a built-in tool that we have of case share. So the case share feature allows for collaborative treatment planning. It allows you to easily give access to other professionals involved in the patient's care, access to the cases that you have within Beam Readers. In this spot, you'll actually see cases where other practices have shared them with you. And we also see uh, any outstanding invoices here that's available. One nice feature here at the dashboard, oftentimes you come in, you're looking for a specific patient. You can go up here to search patients, start writing the, the patient's name out. It will give you direct access irregardless of the status of that case. So it's a quick, easy way to find any case that you're, you're after. Oftentimes, one of the things you need to do when you come into your Beam Readers portal is to submit a new case. It's very quick and easy to do. We actually have a, a detailed video on how to work through this process, but there's four essential steps, and I'll show you through this draft case. The first step is entering patient details. Tell us about the patient's name, their date of birth, select the referring doctor for the case. Second step is to tell us about the clinical purpose. Let us know why you're submitting the case. That helps us make sure that our reports are clinically oriented to your treatment purpose. Any relevant notes on patient's clinical condition are useful for a radiologist, so we provide you back the best report possible. The third step, select the service that you're after. Select the normal service, a rush service will ensure that it's back within one business day. And continuing on, drag and drop, select the customer files that you need and want to share with the radiologist at Beam Readers. At the end of that, all it is is a simple submit and your case is ready to go for a radiologist to start working on. So when we look at a case, we have the cases in the various statuses. You also can come here to the cases tab in the top menu, and we can look at more details. Uh, so if we wanna see all the completed cases that, that have been done for this practice, you can click here on completed. Uh, we see a grid view gives us additional information. When we look, at archived, we keep all of your cases for at least seven years. So this is the full history of your patients. It gives us long-term view into all your practice. So after 30 days, all completed cases will fall into this archive view, allows you to pull up and see any case from uh, any prior submission. When we go to the case details view, so let's go to a recently completed radiology report. We'll look at Test Sammy here. We see, see on Test Sammy that the case details view gives us a nice overview of all the patient information, the patient ID, the case ID, when it was submitted, the submitting group, the practice, etc. We can also add additional services. So let's say you get that radiology report back and you'd like to follow up with an image portfolio so you can communicate with the patient to have the key images from the scan, just select the image portfolio there and save it. That'll put it into our work queue and we'll get started on that. We see that now the services on this case, we have the radiology report and an image portfolio. The radiologist assigned to this case was Professor Dumbledore. Case comments, this is a great tool to allow you to communicate securely and in a HIPAA compliant way on each case. So you can engage the Beam Readers team, the support team, the radiologists at Beam Readers, you can engage other doctors in your practice, and you can also engage those that you share the case with. So inside of a case comment, it's easy to hit that little plus sign, 
add a subject line, the information. You can also choose to add additional files to your note. And then you can choose at the end who you want to share this with and which member of the Beam Readers team or the, your internal or external team that you want to share it with. It creates a log and this will grow over time as there's communication back and forth. So again, you can put patient specific details in it since it's all inside the portal. There will be an email received by the intended recipient saying that, hey, there's a new comment, click this, it has a hyperlink, it'll take them right to here. So it's all secure and you can have confidence in that workflow process. You'll see under report files, these are the Beamer's deliverables. So we see that we can download Sammy's report that will open up and you'll be able to view the radiologist report. We provide contact information for your radiologist, initial notes submitted. While the, the file is being worked on, you can also upload and add additional patient files to it. And we talked about case share a while ago, and that is, again, an easy process to do. Over time, you build a collection of connections, and you can just select with share this case with Pete Rose here. Or if you'd like, it's very easy to add and include new members and doctors in the treatment circle. So all you need is a first name, last name, and email address. Send that invite, and they'll have access to this case. They'll have their own secure login into the portal, and they'll be able to, to view the case, see the, the patient files, so those DICOMs that are uploaded, they'll be able to see the radiology report, and you'll be able to have secure, compliant conversations with them. And we also have this little panel on the right-hand side here that allows you to quickly maneuver through the, the various fields in the, the case details view. So that's it on cases. When we look at accounting quickly, we can see that uh, we have the historical invoices that have been paid. We have existing invoices that are in process. A nice feature is you can also see the detail. So we can go in and see the service summary. These were all radiology reports provided on this one. We can see patient details and information on which doctors submitted the case. When we go to the upper right, we have this this drop down here. And this drop down is really your console to set your preferences, add users, and manage your practice profile. Manage connections. This is again a little address book of those that you're sharing cases with. Manage practice details. This is a quick way to come in, add data, any information on your practice. If you move locations, you have a new phone number. You can also set your payment details here. It's very easy to add a new credit card. It will bring up portal that actually is not inside of our application, but it's a link to one of the industry standard credit card processing companies. So it is the most secure connection possible. You can select which credit card you'd like to have active at any time, delete and update your credit cards easily. Going back to the other fields on this dropdown, you can go to manage payment info. We'll take you right back to that field. On manage practice users, this is a great way to add additional team members to your practice. In the Beam Readers case portal, everybody has their own login. It's the most secure way of doing it. And it also allows you to customize the roles and visibility of the, the various team members. You can add doctors, additional doctors to your practice. Doctors have the ability to see all cases. They can create new cases. And to do so, very easy. All you need is first name, last name, and an email address. They'll get an invite. They'll set up their own profile and user ID. Referring doctors. You may be taking scans for other people in your community. You don't necessarily want them to see all of the other cases for your practice. You may be an imaging center where this is your business and you have only external customers using your gene services. So that's where referring doctors come in. A referring doctor only has visibility to their cases that they are selected as a referring doctor in that case creation process. And they cannot submit new cases on your practice's behalf. You're insulated from having erroneous charges and also, again, from the proper visibility and security. That's the ideal situation. Practice staff, you can add staff members. You can add accounting users if you want somebody to receive all of the invoices. We also have a section down here for practice join requests. So somebody tries 
to, let's say you have a partner in the practice, they go and say, hey, I hear about Beamers, it's a great place, I'd like to make an account too. They would be notified that you already have a practice created and you would have to approve them before they would have access into your account. Final activity here is the profile options. When we look at the profile, it's easy to go in, you can upload an image, you can add your own little profile image, personalize it a bit, you can tell us about your specialty, you can update your password, and then also the last thing you can do is communication preferences. You might not want to see every case that's completed or be notified of every case completed. You can just easily select that, say, you know, I only want to know about the cases that I submitted being finished, not anything from within the practice. Save those changes and that update's applied. So you can again control your communication preferences. So I hope that this short overview of your Beam Reader's case portal was useful. For more information, we'll continue to post additional videos, dive deeper into the feature set that we have, and we're always available. Call us at our support number. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.